are now into the heart of the Christmas season, just nine days away. By the way, families making their rounds to see all of the dazzling light displays. And one of the time-honored traditions is put on by one of your buds. These beauties walk proudly down Pestalozzi for the nightly Anheuser-Busch brewery light displays. You can see a pair of these guys hooked up to our steak wagon and they're going to be parading down the street. Now secure your spots before they step off. They're lined up elbow to elbow all the way down Pestalozzi Street. And it's not just families who enjoy the experience. The horses obviously love the attention and it's really cool to see them all decorated with the Christmas lights and the bells. This guy is Olaf and he's really friendly as you can see. <laughs> The kids are amazed at how big the Clydesdales really are. They want to know how heavy they are. These guys are about 2,000 pounds, and they talk about how big their feet are. And there are other new additions this year for all ages. Scott, this is awesome. Yes, so this is our Christmas tree bar. Uh, it is a functional uh, bar. We are the only uh, venue in Missouri that actually has something like this. Thousands of lights are on that tree alone. Now the most popular stop for the kids, Winter Wonderland, and it is anchored by... Our two 18-foot snowmen. There's a train, takes them through a Christmas village. We top it all off with a, a glowing ice maze. And a 50-foot programmable Christmas tree. We have some of our favorite St. Louis teams on it. Uh, we have our Anheuser-Busch logo. There, during the show, there's dancing candy canes, so there's not much that tree can't do. The experience has become a St. Louis tradition. 37 years ago, we actually started decorating the brewery for the holidays, and back in those days, it was a drive through type experience. Nine years ago, that all changed. We actually started the walking tour, and really what I equate that to is like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory opening to the public, because the brewery is just really such a magical place. Uh, it is an icon of St. Louis and, and its history. Oh yeah, history back to the 1800s. Well, the brewery lights continue this weekend, and then when they do this next week and the following week, it'll only be Tuesday through Friday. Not on the weekends, they'll take off, of course, for the holiday. Now, the nightly parade with the Clydesdales that you'll want to be in place for, the trolleys as well, they start at 7.30, last about for 20 minutes. You do have to purchase tickets. <laughs> we will link you to all the information on our homepage under the Scene on TV section. Now, we did look into it. Michelle and I were just talking about going. Saturday, the tickets are already sold out. Okay. There are still some, at least when we checked early this morning, for Friday and some on Sunday as well. You have, you've never been? I've never been, you have to and go. I really want to go, but I was like 7.30, bedtime's 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap and then go. <laughs> yeah, I, you've I, been. I just, uh, I've not, not to the lights, but no? I've been to the brewery a lot of times because, you know, I like beer. It's beer. <laughs> um, and of course, the, the Clydesdales are so gorgeous. They're majestic. It, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great place to take your holiday pictures too yes. with the entire family yes. if yeah. you can. Yes. And you know what, Anthony? Next Thursday and Friday when there's snow on the ground, yeah. those horses are going to look so great too. Yes, you yes. Think about it that way. Of course. Yeah, but it's going to be in the single digits, so yeah. you know, think about Can't it that have way everything. too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>